Let's take a look at my fort. Ooh. It's not really a fort. It's just a door against a wall. <laughs> yeah, so just a little update. Um, I was going to have uh, another video come out, but um, I still have to edit it. Um, <laughs> so there's that. But I do just want to give you a little update um, before that comes out because now I don't know when I'm going to actually be able to edit uh, since I'm working on <laughs> this door right here. Um, a bit of a hassle just because the door doesn't fit in the frame. It's too tall. Same thing that happened to me with the lower unit. Uh, but this is in the upper unit. This is one of the bedrooms doors, uh, bedroom doors. And I mean, I don't know, like I measured it and they just don't have that size of door. So, oh, well, <laughs> like, um, so I think I'm just going to go with the saw method that I used last time. Um. I have a tool that is uh, a power tool that's like a saw. Uh, some people call it a sawzaw, I guess. Um, it's just it's a hand hand saw, um, but that's what I eventually got, or or that's what I got after last time. And um, I was trying to like chip chip like part of it with um, a knife and a hammer. Uh, that's what I did to get the, the actual, this stuff right here, where is it, where is it, where is it, oh, right here, to chip that, to chip a space for that, the hinge, um, that's what I did, which that was pretty good, but, um, with the hinges, it's just like, the screws, I think I'm just gonna have to take the screws out and redo the holes, just because they don't seem to go in all the way, and <laughs> it almost, um, Seems like it's damaging the frame, the door frame that I have here. Uh, but yeah, so I did actually get a renter to come in and they moved in today. So that's cool. And I don't have to worry about that for until there's some sort of issue down there. But other than that, I'm just trying to work on the uh, upstairs unit, I guess. There's the door. That's probably the main thing that's going to take time. The other things are just like, um, replace uh, some blinds and uh, also a window screen and slap a little window tint on the bathroom window uh, so no one can, you know, so you can't see outside and no one can see inside for privacy. Um, just like maybe one other little thing, but should be fine in the upstairs unit after I get this door done. So let's see. Yeah, just got to cut it off the top, I guess. And then I'll probably need to resize or replace the spot where the doorknob goes in. Or it's, I have a doorknob right here. And with the lock on this side, that was pretty easy once I... The directions didn't really help with that. But once I actually saw how to do it, that was like five seconds um, to put in that doorknob. Because the hole was already cut out, unfortunately, in the door that I have, the door slab. Oh my gosh, this is fly. But um, yeah, the video that I was editing was actually a sort of like geography type video, travel type video. So be on the lookout for that. Hopefully that could be the next video um, if I do get time to edit at some point. Uh, otherwise, I'll just do another vlog type video to fill uh, that time. But you know, that's, that's where I'm at right now. So Got uh, the tenants moved in downstairs and got work to do upstairs. I still been doing DoorDash about, I would say three or four days a week. So right about every other day, I guess. And so I didn't do it today, but today I'm gonna try and maybe cook something and then go on a little bike ride and then watch some ultimate, ultimate frizz. If you like want to call it that um, essentially yeah that's what I'm doing I got some falafel so I can cook some of that um, uh, which is some stuff that I got from the market that's uh, one of the markets that's near my house I actually 
have two markets in walking distance with also two other like dollar type stores in walking distance and some parks so yeah pretty good centrally located location in the fort here uh other than that i mean i think that's all i got also i want to stop like the door the work on the door because i've been doing it for a little while now and i really don't want to disturb the the new uh people that came in <laughs> obviously uh because if i do any sort of loud noise i try to actually put um paper towel on the hammer <laughs> right here uh so that it doesn't make as much noise but <laughs> uh it still does make some noise so yeah i actually did have the door in the hinges um i just decided that yeah it just doesn't the way i had it it barely fit anyways um i might need to move around the hinges um maybe i actually fixed it when i was putting it in but you know, we'll just find out and we'll keep working on that. Probably do some DoorDash tomorrow and going into the weekend some more DoorDash. It's, I think it's probably going to rain uh, thunderstorms. Well, thunderstorms were yesterday, um, just for like 20 minutes or so. And then probably on Saturday, I think, there's going to be some again. So probably go Friday and Sunday. Also, I did watch some football this past weekend and football season, American football, the NFL, National Football League, uh, has started. So that's exciting. <laughs> um, and hopefully I'll get to watch the reruns of the championship game for the AUDL, American Ultimate Disc League, uh, which is what I said ultimate is what I was going to watch. So hopefully I get to see uh, the reruns of the championship. I know at least the semifinals I'll get to see. So there's that. Uh, so I'll just get to that cooking, the falafel. And some leek. I think I got some leek and some kale for some vegetables. And bike ride. See you later. Peace.